done with me So I can show you something you've never seen And both you and I should be too shy by letting go for what Come and be free So currently we are in Samos, which is just here. We're leaving Samos to come down to this chain of islands somewhere along here. Maybe Lipsoy, which I think is this one. Um, and then later on in the next couple of days, we're going to be going down here to Kos. Now, as many of you may well be aware, we have spent the last three winters in the Ionian. Now, the reason we've done that is because it is generally in a wind shadow. It doesn't get a great deal of wind most of the year. On the other side of Greece, on the Turkish side, it can be very windy. This wind is known as the Melteme. So in March, at the beginning of 2022, we left Meganisi and made our way around the bottom of the Peloponnese. The reason we did that is that the Corinth Canal at the time was closed. We made our way up inside of Evia through Chalkis Bridge up into the Gulf of Volos. And we did this to avoid the worst of the Melteme. In the early part of the season, the Melteme is fairly weak. By July, the winds are quite strong and we've been using those winds to make our way south. And now that the end of the season is approaching, we find ourselves in an area that we are not so familiar with. So in the coming months, we are gonna be exploring our options. Do we stay in this area of Greece? Do we make our way past Crete, around the Peloponnese and back to the Ionian? Or do we winter in this area? We do have an option of making it to the Corinth Canal, which opened during the summer. But it closes, and it closes fairly soon, which means that we, like others, may have to go pretty quick across the Aegean to get to the Corinth Canal before that is no longer an option. Pull it like you're getting a dinosaur off your mum! We are off using the Meltame like it was the trade winds. Downwind sailing at its finest, and this is what we have been doing most of the summer. Ian won't put this in the video, but it's always bitching about the fact I can't tie knots. I've just put the headsail back up. Luckily, we're on starboard tack because he attached the sheets today. Do you see the problem with that? <laughs> I'm not afraid to love, not afraid to love you. 
What an absolutely glorious day. And to top it off, we have got dolphins playing on the bow. And that is up there with a the GoPro. Spinning round, round, around. Oh, I want you now, now, now. My world is spinning round, round, round. And I want you now, and I want you now, and I want you now. Just heading into our anchorage now. Uh, <laughs> typical, we're going to anchor so the wind's picked up. A few boats around here, there are a, um, a few charter bases, etc. here, and it is going to start getting much busier. We're still in August at the moment. Uh, when we get into September, the factories go back to work in Italy and places like this. Across mainland Europe, they take the whole of August off, so um, it can be a busy area during that time frame. And we're just heading out of it, so it should start to get a bit quieter. And this guy's sailing all the way into the anchorage, fair play to him. And if we had roller reefing, we probably would. Um, but blown away, doesn't have roller furling, so dropping head sails and stuff, we need to be into wind, which is currently what we've just done. So we've turned in the wind and dropped our sails. But this guy, pushing all the way to the beach. Loving it. I don't always swim our anchor. Uh, generally when the because we've been doing this for so long when the anchor sets we know when it's set you can feel it on the boat um, this didn't feel great it felt like the the chain was dragging over rock so I'm off to investigate we we don't plan on staying here that long so providing it's reasonably well set we'll leave it alone Nelson is on daddy diver watch Light spattering of sand in places where I could tip it. Yeah. We wouldn't see any wind down on it. Yeah. That's for sure. But <laughs> it is for what wind we've got in the forecast, we're fine. Okay. So I'm not going to move, but it is just rock. <coughs> it's like surface rock. Yeah. With a light bit of sand on top. Okay. The tip is in, but not holding. Okay. Any kind of strong winds, and we're not going to stay. Okay. But we got the anchor watch set. The forecast is for no more than 15 knots. Yeah. So we're fine. Okay. I'm sure it'll hold in 15 knots. Yes. Is there another anchor chain down there next to us? Just cracks in the rocks. Oh, okay. Because it looks like a very straight one with a black bit at the end. If we were staying, I'd pick up and move further into the beach. Okay. We're on that rock shelf over there. Yeah. I think these guys are probably on the sand beach. Okay. I and mean, if we were staying, I'd motor in closer to that the two that are on the beach. Yeah. I'm sure they're in sand, but 
Okay. We do need to be more. We're on the valley, not in the valley. Yeah. So it's okay. We're not okay. going anywhere. For the following morning, we pick up anchor and start heading our way south again. So we've got two, two stinkies over here, two power boats, and like seven yachts all moving around. Which is the most we've seen all season. Yes. So we are heading back into civilization, which has a, a negative impact on our anchoring abilities. And these islands are quite deep valleys, which almost makes it impossible for us to anchor. Yeah. We will be on mooring boys for a couple of days, I think. And then maybe we head down to the town key in Kalimnos. Cool. We may even go to the sponge factory again so we can video it for you because yeah. last year we lost all the footage. Yeah. Day, so it's actually doubled its wind speed because we're close inshore to land. I'm about to turn into this ravine just here. And this is the eastern side of the island of Kalimnos. We have been to Kalimnos before but not to this anchorage. Um, we know there are mooring boys at the head of it because it is exceedingly deep and may not be possible for us to get our anchor down. So Nat is currently rigging a bowline which goes under our bowsprit and will be threaded through the eye ring on a mooring buoy, which on this boat is not that difficult to do. For me it's a lot more difficult because further aft with the solar panels and a dinghy on deck etc I cannot see the mooring buoy. So here we've got two cameras set up. One is clipped to the bow, the other is clipped to the helm position, so you can see the two perspectives. So from about 10, maybe 15 meters away, I am completely reliant on information fed to me from the person standing on the bow, which in this case is Nat. Our approach onto the mooring is always into wind. The wind will act as a brake, so every time I go into neutral, the boat will slow down. All I need to do is keep the bow facing directly into wind, and every time I go into gear, the wheel is turned one direction okay. or the other, so that the motion of the boat is instantly into the direction of the buoy. And I only get that information from that. You need to use hand signals, I'll go out of sight of it in a minute.
Like a lot of things in life, teamwork makes a dream work. So we have been welcomed into. You can't hear me. We've been welcomed into the mooring field, and we're going to go and meet at Caledonis. Forget how much it takes No reasons left behind One day I'll make you mine And it won't come easy But I know it's worth the fight And I know you can see it too So keep me So we're blown away, attached safely to the mooring boy. It's time to run Nelson ashore. He won't wait for long. English as well. Cat. English flag. Well, that's it for this week. Hopefully you'll join us again next week when we are in Kos. We would like to say thank you to all of our supporters. It really does make a difference. If you would like to support us on Ko-fi, you can either scan the QR code or find the link in the description below. Alternatively, you can support us on Patreon. Again, you can find the link for this in the description below. Just wanna be 
and none of these contributions are used in our lifestyle they are simply used to create videos and alternatively as a completely free way to support our videos and to help us keep putting these videos out there you can hit subscribe you can hit the notification bell and give us a like thanks, thanks for watching thanks. i'm not a performing series